So recently I bought a Dell XPS 15 laptop with a 4K display and I love this display. However, the thing about 4K and Windows is you gotta scale the stuff on your screen up in order for stuff to actually be readable without straining your eyes. Now, I got a 4K monitor last year, like a Dell 24-inch 4K monitor. Here we go, Dell 24-inch P2415Q. No idea what any of that means. And Dell claims this is their highest resolution monitor ever. I wound up returning it to Amazon because at the time, 4K scaling in Windows wasn't that good. Like for example, if I were to open the program Minecraft, like in my previous video, the text would look too small. And once again, there are workarounds on the internet, but it involves you having to edit each program settings individually. And there's no app to do it. There's no good fix in Windows to do it for every single app that has that problem. It just doesn't work. And unfortunately, it became too much of a pain to deal with. I do believe 4K is a future, but unfortunately the future is not now. It's at least another year or two away. It still isn't ideal today, but it works a heck of a lot better. So even though it's a 4K display, you'll notice that everything is at a decent size here. It is at 225% display scaling, and Dell actually recommended for me to go up to 250%, but if I turn it up to 250%, um, honestly, I think everything's too big. They probably recommended you doing it at 250% because this is also a touchscreen display and it makes things easier to touch, but primarily I'm not, I don't use the touchscreen that often. As a result, I like having it at 225%. Everything is still nice and readable. However, the million dollar question is, what does 4K look like on a laptop without any display scaling? So. We turn it to 100% here, and you'll notice that everything on the screen is really small. It's barely readable. If you're watching this on a phone, you probably can't read it at all. Or maybe you're able to read it, but you have to strain your eyes to read it or bring up your phone screen super close to your face. And overall, just leaving it at 100% display scaling is not ideal at all. Well, you have to do to solve this in Windows, it's just bump up the display scaling to a point where everything's readable, and that's that. However, the problem with Windows display scaling is that not all programs comply to display scaling for some reason in Windows, like Origin, for example. If I open up Origin with 225% display scaling, by default, it won't scale at all. Now, the only reason that it does scale correctly is because I'm running it in Windows compatibility mode. You'll notice that everything is scaled correctly, but it's actually a little bit blurry. However, the awesome thing about Windows 10 is they just added some new display scaling settings and some Windows 10 updates lately. It didn't used to be like that back when Windows 10 first launched. But there's three modes to fix any display scaling problems here. There's application, there's system, and then there's system parentheses enhanced. Just if you're having problems with display scaling in Windows for some programs, all you have to do is open up this compatibility screen and just play around with the settings here until you find one that does what you want. And usually it should work. Now, if I were to turn the override high DPI scaling behavior setting off, for origin and I were to quit origin here. Now, if I were to open origin again, you see, look at this. Display scaling just doesn't work properly in origin. Now, for some reason, the text over here is normal size, but the menu bar up here doesn't display correctly. Now, about a year ago, if you asked me whether a 4K laptop was worth it or not, I would have said no because display scaling and windows just suck. Nowadays, thanks to the inclusion of several new compatibility settings in Windows 10 and due to the fact that developers are finally starting to utilize proper display scaling and modern programs, display scaling on 4K really isn't that much of a pain anymore. It wasn't really a pain like it was just a year or two ago. And nowadays I can fully recommend buying a 4K laptop. It's still not ideal. Ideally, I'd want everything to just scale properly, everything to just work without me having to change any settings manually. But you know, I can I can live with that, I guess. That's what 4K scaling is like on a laptop nowadays. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure to check out my Twitter, Instagram, and Discord link down below in the video description. 
Anyways, I hope to see you guys next time. Goodbye.